Bless the Lord, oh my soul, bless. I love him. I love my children. I don't care what, you know, the world thinks of me. I care more about what God thinks of me. A lot of us know and will remember this actor for his iconic performances in movies such as The Passion of the Christ and The Count of Monte Cristo. And the way he talks about his love during interviews and speeches for Jesus is so powerful and inspiring. I mean, just listen to this for a start. That's where Jesus is going to have a deep conversation with all of us when we die. And I don't want to be a part of that. I want to tell him that I love him. That's what I want to say and, when I, and that I tried to live the life that it was supposed to be, that I give my life for him because he deserves to be loved. Does God love me? Does God love me? Yes, he loves you. Accept it. Now, do you love him? What would you do for him? How many people in Hollywood do you hear talking about Jesus like this these days? And of course, Hollywood loved to portray Jim Caviezel as unbalanced and crazy, especially after the release of The Sound of Freedom. So for this video, I'd like to share with you Jim Caviezel's five most recent passionate and powerful messages about Jesus. Number one. Our love for God's children has got to be greater than our fear of evil, just as our love for Jesus Christ has got to be greater than our fear of the cross. That, it, it, and understand that, more Christians now are more afraid of the devil than they are of God. God could destroy the devil without a glance. And I see this all the time in, in churches and I, I bring it up, I have this movie, Passion of the Christ, and how many come up to me and say, yeah, I didn't see that film because it's, it, I just don't like what you guys do to Jesus. I said, well, I'm sorry, did I, I didn't do anything to Jesus. I tried to show you his love for you and what he gave for you. And somehow this is, it's happy Jesus. They want happy Jesus. Number two. You know, I don't, we don't make faith-based films. I hate that term <laughs> because, you know why? Because it feels so manipulative. I, I make a film that I want to, I feel we can beat the best in the world. We're the best. When we made The Passion, we didn't say we're making a faith-based film. The reason why I don't like it is a lot of these guys, and they're, I mean, they're like carnival acts. They're like, here, how we just made you a faith-based film, people, and you got to buy it because we did this for you. If that crap is crap, don't buy it. <laughs> Number three, and I think this is one of his most passionate interviews I have ever watched and listened to. You get to see things you don't want to see. When you look at a crucifixion of Jesus Christ, you get to see things that you don't want to see because you see other crucifixions. You have to look at the Shroud of Turin and see, is this real? What do you think happens when you have to go look at what happens to children? You have to investigate it. And I don't understand. I, I guess I have a, I have a more idealistic mind because I want to tell people, if you just would come with me, and then we'd say, no, 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 the media doesn't say this. No, no, that's, that can't be true. You're, you're crazy. I'm not into hurting children. I'm trying to help them. And, and then I, you start realizing that people don't want to see this film for one reason. They don't want to feel that guilt when they know that when they watch this movie, they're not going to do a thing. And, and so there's a lot of dialogue in this that hits you so hard that it asks you a question. What are you going to do in this life? God's given you a lot. What are you going to do? Number four. It, the point being is that we all end up dying someday. We're all going to die. We're all going to be on our cross. And I, I tell that to many of our evangelical uh, friends that I love deeply. And they say, why do you put Jesus on the cross? They say, well, at some point you're going to die and you're going to be on a, on a cross and uh, Jesus will be there. And your family not, might, might not be there, but he will be there with you. And I, there's nothing more beautiful to look at when you're going through that kind of suffering. And finally, number five. I guess this part of his interview really shows Jim Caviezel as an actor and a Christian at the same time. And so, you know, to hell what people think of me, to hell what they think of me when it comes to Jesus and they make fun of me. I love him. I love my children. I don't care what, you know, the world thinks of me. I care more about what God thinks of me. But I want the world to know how much I love him and I'd give my life for him. And I had to. I, I had uh, the passion. I had to, uh, open heart surgery, two heart surgeries, including open heart. I was lacerated twice from the whips. I had my left shoulder taken out. 
I still struggle with that to this day. I, you know, I, I take the painkillers when I have to, and I, you know, try to put a show together like person of interest. And then I got electrocuted uh, on the passion. But, you know, I didn't realize it was, it was going to be that hard. But, you know, um, I, I always, you know, I don't want to curse here. I'm not trying to, but like F, F my feelings is what I always say when I want to quit. And I got to tell you, when I was doing the passion that during the, one of the hardest parts, when uh, my head got crushed into the ground, I looked over to uh, um, Mother Mary and I say, Aluemi, behold, Mother, I make all things new. When that shot that about five times on the fifth one, I was so broken. I, I just turned to Jesus and I, in the heavens and I said, I don't want them to see me. I only want them to see you. Do you like this compilation? If you like it, please let me know down in the comments and I'll come up with part two because there are a lot more powerful and inspiring messages said by this man. And we're very fortunate that there's finally a Christian actor who means what he says and actually standing up to Hollywood culture of sex, drugs, and whatever else they're doing. Thank you so much everybody for taking the time to watch this video and until the next one, God bless you.